Ontarians are in for a messy winter commute on Tuesday evening. Stay tuned for details. Winter has its eyes set on southern, eastern, and northern Ontario tomorrow evening with a wintry mix in store for the evening commute. Let's dive right into it. Starting on Tuesday morning, uh, we'll see on our graphic here, the light snow begins uh, in areas Orangeville, Hanover, Collingwood, up north of the GTA, while the GTA on a Tuesday morning commute might see a mix of sleet and snow. Um, and further south, you'll see a mix of rain and snow towards southwestern Ontario. Changing over to the afternoon, it's going to be changing into a mostly rain mix for that southwestern Ontario region. And then there'll be a fine line of, between snow and sleet and rain uh, in the Hamilton, Brantford, and GTA region along that line there. And all that purple area up there is that's going to be your heavy snow. Um, not necessarily accumulation, but that's going to be where you're going to be seeing your heavy snowfall. And moving into the evening, that rain moves in with that warmer air mass and changes all that precipitation over to rain, washing most of that snow away. And you'll still see there's a little bit of a rain-snow mix north of the GTA, north, north towards Barrie, Aurelia, Bracebridge. And then still further north of that, you'll have that sleet mix band. And then moving up north of that, you'll have your heavy snow. And that's the area we're going to see the most accumulation in the area of around 20 to 35 centimeters, depending, up in Algonquin Park, Huntsville, Bancroft, Renfrew, that area. Continuing into Wednesday morning, this event mainly shifts to a rain event for most of southern Ontario. Uh, areas all the way from Windsor up to Kingston, Aurelia, Peterborough, they're all in rain mostly now. Um, areas like Bracebridge, Bancroft, Smiths Falls, Cornwall, you're in that kind of a band now where, where you might be experiencing some rain and snow mix. And in areas like Ottawa, Pembroke, and Renfrew, um, that's mainly going to be that sleet and snow mix. And then further north, like we were saying, that areas of Sundridge, North Bay, Algonquin Park, Deep River, uh, areas are experiencing heavier snowfall. And that's where you're going to see those accumulating totals due to that cold air mass remaining in place. Moving on to our snowfall forecast totals for this event. Areas in deep southwestern Ontario, including Chatham, Windsor, Leamington, all the way out to the Niagara Peninsula, um, Niagara Falls area seeing about zero to five centimeters of snow moving up to areas like king carden london brantford tilsonburg hamilton all the way out to toronto all the way around to kingston we're expecting around five to ten centimeters of snow areas north of the gta like orangeville guelph barry aurelia all the way out to owen sound and wyerton we're expecting around five to fifteen centimeters and then there's that band of 10 to 20 centimeters in the just north of bracebridge extending all the way over to bordering on Ottawa. Um, Ottawa is kind of in that border area between the 10 to 20 and uh, 15 to 25, pardon me. Um, and then further north, as we said before, that's going to be the main snowfall area where we're looking at uh, Algonquin Park, Renfrew, Pembroke, Deep River. You're going to see 20 to 35 centimeters and local amounts could be higher. Now to take a look at our rainfall forecast for this event. Mainly, as we said before, this is going to be a rain slash wintry mix uh, situation going on more in southern Ontario. Uh, areas in the deep southwestern Ontario is mainly going to see rain with 30 to 50 millimeters extending all the way from Windsor out to Niagara Falls, continuing on uh, along the shores of Lake Ontario to Kingston. Um, and then there's a small band of that 20 to 30, 30 millimeters. It's going to be less rain for areas along the uh, 403, uh, Mississauga, Toronto. There's going to be a little bit less rain for you guys. Um, and north of that, it's just going to continue to get less. So areas in Aurelia, Bracebridge, Collingwood, over down to Orangeville, 10 to 20 millimeters further north Sunridge area to all the way out to Ottawa between a, a light drizzle and five to 10 millimeters not much in terms of rain you're mainly going to be more concerned about the uh, sleet and uh, heavier snow mix that's going to be affecting you another hazard we're expecting with this system is going to be strong wind gusts in Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening along the shores of Lake Erie we're expecting wind gusts around the 90 to 100 kilometer an hour mark um, areas like Prince Edward County, Niagara region are also expected to be in this area. Areas like the Golden Horseshoe and Southwestern Ontario, where we're expecting wind gusts from the 50 to 70 kilometer an hour range. Um, though some models are saying that wind gusts could go up to 85 kilometers an hour. As I said earlier, make sure to check out our full forecast in the link in the description. You can check out the full zoomable maps that we have included in that article. And as always, make sure to check out our app, Instant Weather, available on App Store and Google Play, Apple App Store and Google Play. Uh, or go to the link instantweather.ca slash app to download it. And always make sure to check out our, our Ontario Storm Reports page on Facebook, where you can post your local reports, photos, videos, etc. of the weather you're experiencing in your area.
that's all the updates we have for you tonight. Depending on when you're watching this video, we might be live in a little bit. We're going to be going live to discuss this storm a little bit more and answer some questions you guys might have. Other than that, stay safe. Have a good night. Have a good commute tomorrow evening in this uh, wintry mix we're going to be experiencing tomorrow. See ya.